Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. It is Friday, that means it's Zur Day, but it's a very special day today. As you know, the Dark Below DLC dropped on Tuesday and that means Zur not only has a chance of selling new exotics, but he now also offers upgrades for your existing exotics to bring them in line with the increase in light level cap to 32. So with that in mind, let's go and check out what he's got. First up, you'll find him right down here in the middle section just opposite the Crucible vendor. So, now you know where to find him, let's take a look. Advanced warning, Warlocks, you might want to sit down. So, as you can see, along the top row is his usual array of exotics for sale. One for each class, going for 13 strange coins. A heavy weapon this week, going for 17 strange coins. An exotic shard, going for 7 strange coins. And an exotic helmet engram, going for 23 motes of light. First up, let's take a quick look at the gear. Titans, you've got something new this week, the Ruin Wings. These look flipping awesome, and the key talent that makes these unique is Seeds of Ruin which makes heavy ammo drop more often, and when it does drop, it contains more ammo in each drop. Then for the Hunters, unfortunately no new item for us, the Acleophage Symbiote this week, but do remember, everything Zur sells now is of a higher level than before, so if you already have one of these, it's still worth picking it up again. The key talent for this is Last Man Standing, which gives your Golden Gun one extra bullet. Then for the Warlocks, this has got to be a running joke, but he is selling the Void Fang Vestments once again. However, take comfort in the fact that this one is better than the last one you had. The key talent for this is Improved Axion Bolt, and that makes your Axion Bolt spawn additional Seekers, and you respawn with full grenade energy. Then the exotic weapon this week is Truth, again at the increased level so your base damage begins at 302, and can go up to 331. The key talents on this are Grenades and Horseshoes, which allow rockets to detonate early based on proximity to the enemy, and Prototype Truth Seeker, which allows the rockets to seek its targets aggressively. Then, as previously mentioned, you have your Shard, which is now used to upgrade all exotic items, and the Helmet Engram. I'm going to buy one of these this week, and we'll see how that goes down in just a second. Next, Exotic Upgrades. So this week, Zur has two armor pieces for each class, and six weapons that you can upgrade. This will rotate weekly, just like everything else, but he only upgrades items you have equipped, so if it's in your bank, you'll need to go and get it. The way this works is that Zur will reset your exotic, meaning all progress in your talent tree is completely lost. So the unique talents that make exotic weapons special will need to be unlocked again, as well as all the damage or defense bubbles as well. However, upon resetting it, it begins at a higher base value. So for example, I'm going to choose to upgrade my Icebreaker because it's my go-to exotic. However, I actually have four Icebreakers, so what I'm going to do is upgrade one of my spares so that my old one remains maxed out, then once I max out the new one, I'll ditch the old one. But, as you can see, once I upgrade it, it already starts with a higher base damage value, 302. So while I would have lost the progress on my weapon, I've gained on attack power, and this also applies to armor, only it'll be defense values instead. So, your upgrades this week are for the Mask of the Third Man, Young Ahamkara Spine, the Armamentarium, No Backup Plans, Light Beyond Nemesis, and Sunbreakers. Then the weapons, you've got Surus Regime, Red Death, The Last Word, Thorn, Icebreaker, and Thunderlord. And lastly, your telemetries this week are for the Pulse Rifle, Scout Rifle, and Fusion Rifle. Also, if you've got that quest for Eris, then don't forget to buy your urn. That will set you back one strange coin. So, with all that out of the way, let's go and see what the Cryptarch has for me. These engrams were buried under Hong Kong. I was fond of that one. And yep, yeah, that's right. Of course he'd never give me something for my class. However, this item is one of the new DLC items, the Glass House. This is aimed at the defenders out there. The key perk, Bathed in Light, allows your Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light to last longer. And it also looks pretty badass, kind of like something out of the Crystal Maze. Just a shame it's no use to my class. So, Seeing as I had so many motes of light left, I figured it would be a good idea to buy another one. Let's try this again. I was hoping for the ATS-8 Arachnid. In Brasilia. Take a look. <laughs> well, you can see how that ended up. Either way, that's it for this week. That is Zur, that's all the stuff he's offering, and that's how exotic upgrades work. Hopefully you found this helpful, and as always, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, show your support, that does really help me out, and obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Drop a comment down below, let me know if you bought anything this week, and if so, what did you get? Did you get any cool new DLC items, and also, did you upgrade anything this week? Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.